Hi all. So today's Databricks uh, Data Engineer Series 2. Yesterday we discussed about why this is important, right? Uh, what are the importance of the Databricks Engineers demand in the industry? There is divided into, the Databricks Data Engineers is divided into first fundamental. If you don't know about Databricks anything, you need to complete the fundamental first one. Then associate then data engineer professional these are the certificate we need to cover to become a assured data bricks engineer means data bricks engineer so uh, yesterday we discussed about what are the things available how the industry demand about the data bricks engineer but today i will tell you what are the prerequisites because we are starting the series right then we need to know what are the things we complete before at least we need to know these are the things we demanded in the data engineering series First thing the PySpark. If you are fluent in the Python, you can easily write the code in the PySpark. So if you need help from the PySpark, I will come and I will add one uh, YouTube or uh, some links also that will help you to learn in the PySpark. Because we need to connect as a, as a Databricks engineer, we need to connect external sources. For example, CSV, Excel file or SQL databases, different sources, external sources we need to deal with and we need to know how it will be connected for example spark dot we need to create a data frame and we need to create a spark to connect the csv or excel to data bricks so these are the things we are written in a code in a python python means PySpark. basically three or four languages are available in the database for example like python sql r scala and PySpark. But we are preferring to PySpark, okay. So that is the reason uh, because more functionality is available in the PySpark and we can create and a lot of, lot of aggregate uh, transformation we can do. So that is the reason we are choosing the PySpark here. And uh, so first you need to go through what are the PySpark options, like how the data is mounted, how the duplicate check we can do and how the visualization kind of thing. If you give one or two days you can spend at least if you need if you have good knowledge in the python it will be easy to cover up the uh, functions available in the data bricks and all then once you complete those things you need to know acquire some knowledge in the sql also because uh, normal aggregate function windows function so that also will help you if you get a new use case in your hand okay that also important then coming into the theory portion because whatever the what is uh, databricks clusters and a notebook and jobs the shared history means there are directory also that i will be sharing tomorrow session uh, so this is the first section first prerequisite once you complete this one you can follow my video i will i will guide you how to acquire these kind of databricks certificate engineer thank you